Today I'm gonna show you guys how to create this parallax slideshow animation into After Effects. Boom! Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create this really simple but really cool looking kind of a parallax slideshow animation into After Effects. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video and get started. Alright, so let's go ahead and create a new composition and let's just name this our main comp. 1920 into 1080, 30 frames and 10 seconds and hit OK. Alright, so here I have an image that I'm going to use for this tutorial. You can use any kind of image that you want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new composition and call this footage. Now you can use any video as well. I'm going to use an image for a tutorial. So I'm just going to drag it in. Now it's quite a bit large image. So I'm going to just scale this down somewhere around, maybe somewhere around there. And Yep, there we go. And then I'm gonna drag the footage composition into our main comp, all right? Make it 3D. And then, now first of all, we need to start building our layout, that is the text and all the placement of the text and all that good stuff. So to do that, I'm gonna first of all create my text. So you can type in any text that you want to go with. I'm just gonna type in design. And then we can just align this in the center. Then just to give it a little bit of accent, I'm gonna go ahead and create a rectangle like so. We don't need the fill, so we can just set this to none and increase the stroke to let's say maybe eight pixels. Yep, that looks good. And align this as well. So yep, that is looking really nice. Maybe I'll increase the size of the text to 150 and the size of the square as well so maybe somewhere around let's see right over there and somewhere around there make sure it's aligned then we can just rename this to let's call this stroke and there we have it I think the text is not really aligned. Maybe I'll just align this. Yep, there we go. And make them 3D as well. Then we can go ahead and create a new camera. And I'm going to keep the preset to 28 millimeters. This works good. So I'm going to choose this one. You can also choose 20 millimeters or 24 or 35 or 50. What the heck you want to. But 24 works really good. So yeah, we have our camera. Let's create a new null object and call this camera control make it 3d and parent our camera to the null object all right we can hide the null object so now we can control our camera through the null object so let's go right over here hit p to bring down the position and then we can just you know position our animation so first of all i'm going to go into the top view and bring the text and the stroke a bit ahead to create that kind of a parallax effect. So I'm going to keep it right over here and maybe somewhere around there. Yep, maybe a bit more. I think the text is a bit too big. Or maybe I'll just set this to 125 or maybe 130. There we go. And the stroke make it a bit small somewhere around there there we go and then we can just align this and decrease stroke to maybe six pixels yep that looks pretty nice so yep, that is looking pretty nice if, if I go into the camera you can see we have this kind of a you can see if we animate this, we are going to get some really nice parallaxing. So I'm just going to hit Ctrl Z. 
and now we can just position our text so I want my text to be somewhere around here all right we can turn on the title action save to be a bit more precise then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to one second or let's go to two seconds select the stroke the text and the footage hit P to bring down the position properties click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe go to the very beginning of the comp and just drag them out so we can just hold this and just drag them out of the frame so now they are going to just animate in all right then i'm going to go to five seconds create a keyframe just like so select all the three layers and just drag them out now it depends now it depends on which side you want them to animate i'm just going to animate them to left but you can also animate them to right or you know bottom or wherever you want so yep oh i did a mistake i'm gonna hit ctrl z i'm gonna go to six seconds and then i'm gonna drag them out so here we have the animation in and the animation out now uh, this is looking really lame right now i'm just gonna select them and hit f9 go to graph editor and just select them give it a little bit nicer motion something like that so that they animate in really nicely and looks really smooth you can see you get that really nice parallax you can see just hide the layers by hitting ctrl shift h you can see we get this really nice parallax You just select them, go to graph editor and create something like that. So, yep, that is looking pretty nice. So here we have our base animation ready. Alright, so let's go ahead and create our background. So to do that, I'm going to create a new solid, name this BG. and add a gradient ramp to it so I'm just going to type in ramp there we go I'm going to select something like a red or maybe a dark pink something like that and this too something like a violet somewhere around there and set this right over there and this right over here just to create a really nice color blending just drag them behind so as you can see it looks really really nice then we can also add that little dots that you saw in the background which gives it a little more character to the you know background and just, it doesn't just look really plain and lame you know just to give a little more highlight to this thing so to do that I'm just gonna select the ellipse tool and just double click on it so it's gonna create a circle like so we don't need the stroke so I'm just gonna set this to zero we need the fill and we need it in the white color so I'm gonna just hit OK select the layer and just rename this to dots then go to ellipse 1 ellipse part 1 and change the size first of all unlink this thing and change this from 3 pixels to 3 pixels then we can just link this up so we have a really tiny dot you can see right over here and now what we need to do is we need to add a repeater so I'm just gonna go ahead and add a repeater there we go solo it out so you can see it more properly maybe I'll set the copies to 50 go to transform repeater 1 and increase the position or maybe set this to 50 yeah then I'm gonna go ahead and add one more repeater that is the repeater 2 go into properties set the copies to 50 and then I'm gonna set this or maybe set this thing to 50 and set this one to 0 there we have it and then we can just align this to the corner 
just like so. Now we don't need to leave this really, you know, blank. We can give a little bit of animation. Just gonna drag it above our BG, that is the main BG layer. And maybe I'll just decrease the opacity to 50. Yep, that looks pretty nice. And we can animate the position. So I'm gonna go to it. So I'm gonna go to the very beginning of the comp and hit P to bring down the position properties. Set this to zero and this to zero. Create a keyframe. Go to 10 seconds depending on how long your comp is and maybe I'll just set this to minus 200. So we have a little bit of animation in the background as well. See it looks really really nice. Now to give the actual depth we need to add some shadows. So to do that we need to just drag and drop shadows. So that's really easy just select the layer and just by the way I'm using the effects console to be you know fast with the tutorial. And you know, I don't want to make really long tutorials like 30 to 1 hour long tutorials, you know. I want to keep it really short and simple so that you can, you know, you guys, you guys get the point and I just want to go straight to the point without wasting any time. So I'm going to type in drop shadow. You can also type in drop shadow right over here. There you go. And you know, get the drop shadow. I think that. You know, it's a little difficult to find right away. You can just use FX console. It's a free After Effects script. Really awesome and really amazing. Shout out to Andrew Kramer for creating this script. Really amazing. So, with that said, let's increase the distance of the drop shadow to somewhere around. Let's say, yep, yeah, 120 looks good. And maybe a softness to 200. That is looking really nice and maybe I'll just decrease the opacity to 20 or maybe to 30 That looks pretty nice and this gives the illusion of depth Kind of faking depth, but it looks really really nice. You can see yeah, I'll decrease this to 25 and Then you can just control C to copy it and drag it or paste it on our design text So we can just hit control V and we have the text, but we need to Decrease the softness. So I'm going to set this to 100 maybe. Then increase the opacity to let's say 40. We have that really little bit of shadow on the footage, but it gives really nice depth. So if you can just see the difference, see, makes it look really, really nice. Now, using the same technique, Using using the same text technique, I created the subtext. So you, I don't. I'm not gonna go and create the same exact thing again. You know, it's just the same exact exact thing. You can just, you know, just hit Control D, duplicate it, bring this down, and type in the second text that you want to. So I'm just gonna delete the second text, and now I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of animation to text as well. So to do that, I'm going to select the stroke, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it and this is going to be our mat for the text. So I'm just going to rename this to mat. We don't need the stroke, so I'm going to just set this to zero. We need the fill. I'm going to set this to black. And bring this above our text layer. And then I'm going to change the text track mat to alpha mat. Alright. Then I'm going to go to maybe around let's say let's go to two seconds all right select the mat or select the text and hit P to bring down the position properties and we can just drag it this keyframe that we previously created to somewhere around there so now we have a little bit of text animation as well so you can see looks really nice if I just preview it for you guys pretty quick see it looks really really nice give a little bit of you know more character to the animation Maybe a little bit so yeah really simple and easy maybe I'll give the same drop shadow to the stroke as well. There we go. We decrease the softness for the stroke to somewhere around 50. Yep, that looks fine. You can see little shadows on it. 
makes it look really nice. So really simple and easy. Now to give a bit more, you know, enhance the complete thing, you can also give a little bit of curves to it by just dragging the curves thing, a bit more dark and just highlighting the colors. Make it look really nice. You can see the difference. Enhance the project a little bit. Looks really, really nice. Now you can also add light leaks to make the comp look really, really nice. So you can see really simple, really easy, but really, really helpful. Now you can obviously go into the footage comp and replace the image. You can add a footage as well. So you can add actually anything to this and create a couple bunch of animation using the same exact technique. So that's a wrap for today. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And if it was, don't forget to subscribe, comment and like. And I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care and thank you so much for watching guys. And don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.